Hello, hello everybody. I am enjoying this beautiful fall afternoon and I hope you are too. Abby the Labby and I are just hanging out in the backyard for a little while. But I wanted to talk to you for a second about the three biggest reasons that people want and need real estate. And if you're not sure that you need real estate, please tell me why you don't need a real estate portfolio. Because I think everybody does. All right, and the first reason is I don't know anybody. Like I, I really don't think I actually know anybody who makes enough money every month. Everybody I know could say, yeah, I could use an extra thousand dollars. Sometimes I could use another 500 bucks. Or it'd be nice if I made an extra 5,000. So if you're in like a nine to five in a regular job, or if you're in a, you know, a small business or a real estate agent or you know, whatever, I'm sure you make decent money. I'm sure it's fine. It's, you know, feeding the kids and keeping clothes on your back and you can get an old change when the car needs tending to. But is it really enough to make you happy? Is it really enough for you to retire on? And you know, retirement is my second reason that everybody needs a real estate portfolio. I talked to a woman earlier today and she told me that she had a good little, a good little nest egg saved up. She's got about $300,000. And I asked her though, like, do you know how much a nursing home is gonna cost? She, she's in her mid 60s now and she's figuring that she'll probably go into a nursing home or have to live with her kids in 20 years. I said, do you know how much a nursing home is every month right now, today in 2016? And she told me that, yeah, her mother had been in a nursing home and it was five or $6,000 a month. And I said, okay, so if you've got $300,000 in the bank saved up, how many years can you afford to live in a nursing home? And What's going to happen if you can't afford the nursing home? Your kid's going to take you in? Is Social Security going to pay enough for you to live the way you want to live? I mean, really, what's your plan for retirement? If you're making enough money right now in your job or your hustle or whatever it is you're doing, are you making enough money that you can live paycheck to paycheck and you can live um, credit card statement to credit card statement? Or are you making enough money that you're saving five or $10,000 a month? Are you making enough money that you could just walk away and have enough money today to retire? The other thing is, do you really wanna wait until you're 65 to retire? Cause I don't, I'll tell y'all right now, I wanna retire when I'm 40. 40. That gives me eight years to get it together and retire. And I think that's a lot of time to get together what I'm going to need. So if you aren't making enough money and you don't have a retirement plan, then tell me again why you think you don't need a real estate portfolio because a real estate portfolio some rental houses and apartments some vacant land just all sorts of stuff coming in every month just money coming in every month that could change your life it could change your life right now where you have more money coming in that you don't have to clock in for and it could let you retire earlier or it could let you retire on time and actually enjoy it and not worry about having to pick up odd jobs in your retirement you know so the last reason the third reason that people need a portfolio it's kind of a combination of the first two and that is healthcare healthcare is pretty expensive even if you have good insurance even if you've you know you're healthy as a horse right now who's to say and I hope this doesn't happen but who's to say you're not gonna get in an accident and be out of work for six months. Do you have enough money saved up or are you gonna have to file bankruptcy and go through foreclosure and lose your house just because you weren't ready for an accident? 
And I'll tell you what, I know lots of people who will save money for a vacation or a honeymoon or, you know, something fun. But they don't really save money for a hospital stay. Because it's not fun and we don't want to talk about it. But hospital stays happen, especially as you get older. And it, even if you have enough money for a nursing home that's five or $6,000 a month, do you have enough money that if you need to go stay at the hospital for a couple weeks? Because that'll jump up your bill. And if y'all think healthcare is expensive right now and you're my age or you're 10 or 15 years older than me, I hate to tell y'all this, but it's a lot more expensive than it was even 10 or 15 years ago. And I don't want to spill the beans, but the cost of living is more expensive too. Everything is more expensive. Do you have your house paid off? Is your kid's house paid off? When you die, are your kids going to have to inherit all of your debt? Or are you going to have a real estate portfolio that you can say, here guys, here's some money. Stick me in the ground. Oh, by the way, here's some money coming in every month. I am saying that if you have a real estate portfolio and it brings in two or three or ten or twenty thousand dollars a month, which is not very difficult to build up to ten or twenty thousand a month, that could be money that you live on. That could be money that you use for vacations. That could be money that you use for the nursing home. That could be money that you use for healthcare expenses. You could use that money on anything you want to. You can tell your boss where he can stick it and you can go home. You can go hang out with the kids. You can know that you are gonna be taken care of and that you're not gonna outlive your money. Cause you know what's a scary thought? is saying, okay, I've got enough money and I can live until I'm 85. But what if you live until you're 87 or 95? What are you going to live on? I mean, I, I just ask these questions and I just know that I don't think I know anybody in my real life one that makes enough money every month and wouldn't like more money coming in that they don't have to go clock in for okay so real estate will give you more money every month extra 500 bucks extra thousand dollars extra five thousand dollars i mean how much do you make right now every month how much would it take to replace your job and then when you have all this free time imagine what else you can go invest in the second thing is retirement. Are you really going to wait until you're 65 to retire? Or you want to retire with me when you're 40? Or maybe you're already 45. So we'll put it in high gear. You can retire when you're 50. You get an extra 15 years of retirement. Yes, please. The third thing is health care. And health care expenses, just even thinking about that, should scare the pants off of you because it scares me because I don't want to live in a 10 by 10 concrete cell when I'm 85 and hurting all over and everything anyway I want to live in a nice cushy upscale doctor on call retirement home nursing home I don't want to live in whatever the government can afford to stick me in. And if you're not saving for that right now, you're going to be at the mercy of whatever your kids can afford. Speaking of your kids, if you teach them how to be a real estate investor, let's say you have a 10 year old right now. I got an 11 year old stepson right now. If I teach him how to be a real estate investor, there's a good chance when he goes to college, he could buy a piece of property with his tuition money that would produce enough to pay for him for, to go to school. Maybe he could get a quadplex or a triplex, live in one unit, and have the other two people rent from him 
which also pays for his school. Wouldn't that be awesome to give your kids not just the money, but the knowledge to go make more money? I don't know anybody that has enough money, and I don't know anybody that does not want better for their kids than what they had. You know? So, those are the three reasons I think everybody needs a real estate portfolio. If you want to talk to me, if you got any questions, if I made a mistake, if I called you out, let me know. But I think everybody, everybody could use some extra money every month and everybody should want to or does want to retire early. And I also know that we're all going to get old. We're all going to get a little bit decrepit. Okay? And not in like the funny Halloween kind of way where you dress up like a mummy, but like where you actually look at your grandma and you're like, I'm not going to be able to move faster than a turtle one day. Who's going to pay for you? Who's going to take care of you? Are you going to be able to take care of you? Or are you going to be a burden on somebody else? Get a real estate portfolio. Um, while I got you here, I put a link up on my bio, start.whitneynicely.com. I've got another video there that will show you three different ways you can buy houses with no money, no credit, and no banks. So leave me a message here if you want to. I'm going to go. I have a date with myself to go see a movie tonight because I already voted today. <laughs> So if you want me, send me a message here. Check out the video, start.whitneynicely.com. And I'll be back next week for Ask Wit Wednesday. Bye, y'all. Have a great day. Go be a real estate investor. Make the money, honey. Bye, y'all.